Alrighty, welcome to a little tutorial here on how to use, well, not really use, but set up the Vortex Discord bot. Uh, if you're watching this video, you've probably been in a similar situation to what I have, in which you need a good bot to moderate your server that's really dedicated to do that. Uh, Vortex is perfect for this, much better than Dino, Me6, or any of the other moderation bots which I've seen. It has a lot more versatility as far as moderation goes, and it's just set on moderation. It doesn't have any like side things that it does. Uh, so when you get here, you're going to see Vortex. Oh, invite this bot. It's so easy. Click it. Wrong. So when you get here, you're going to see a bunch of things here. Blah, 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 blah. 30 or more human members. See that right here? Uh, that doesn't really matter, as you're about to see, because I've seen that I've put it in a server with about 15 people, and it worked perfectly fine. So, And I'm about to put it in a server with two people. So click this link here. It's going to ask you to select a server. Stupid server that doesn't really do anything. Perfect. Continue. Just... It's not going to abuse any of this stuff. I've always had it do everything and I've never had an issue with it. So, authorize. Tell that you're human. Then you can go back over here. And Vortex has joined the server. Welcome, Vortex. Alright. So I'm not going to show you what every command does, but I'm going to give you just a little glimpse of how everything works. So go over here to your little bot command area, and we're going to start with setup. So they have two options here. You can set up your mute role and your auto mod. The mute role is pretty simple, but before you can do that, you need to go up into server settings roles and put the vortex bot all the way roll up all the way up at the top save your changes and go back now you can go in here set up mute roll hit this and there you go and just to be in the safe side go in here go to roles and bring that up if you had another role, I really didn't need to put it above, put it above owner, but wouldn't be bad to put it over your normal everyone role. So now, before you go and set up your auto mod, you might want to do something else. Go in here, hit help, and it's going to give you a DM, as you can see there, with a command so list. So when we go and click in the link that it showed in the auto mod, no, I'm an, I'm an idiot, the DM, uh, it'll bring you to this auto mod command list. You can also access it just by the website that we saw earlier. But when we scroll down here to auto mod, you can do all these sorts of things with it. It's great. But first yeah. thing I always do when I start the setup of ZNUBOT for Vortex, go over here and hit mod log and then put it in the hashtag channel that you want to have your like logging strikes and stuff be annoyed with strikes there you go basically it'll tell you whenever someone gets muted someone spams something and I kicked it earlier because I wanted to restart my video so yeah so now once we get that in we can start setting up our auto mod so what I generally like to do, go here, set up auto mod, continue, and this is the, like the basic settings that it has. And it can be pretty easily changed here, just do this, max mentions, 50. And you can also change the maximum amount of role mentions, as you can see here. And any of these can be done. And you can also see all of the different commands to change it in this thingy here. So another thing you're probably going to want to do is set up your punishment system for when you get strikes for all this crap. 
So, when you do that, to do that, you can just say punishment. And two, that's the amount of strikes that you want. And then after that is your the punishment you want to give out. So if you want to mute someone for an hour, mute one hour. And there you go. The second strike, it's going to set up for a one hour mute. One thing I will mention with this is that if you want to set up a one week temporary ban, so if I do this, punishment six ban one week, it's going to put in put it in as a permanent ban. To avoid this, you can do punishment six ban seven days. And then we'll put it in as one week, as you can see here. So there are several commands which you can do to punish your users. Let's say, for instance, Adherent, who hasn't really done anything, and just thanks to him for being my human test subject, I want to strike him. So it's greater than, greater than, strike, and greater than, greater than is the main, like, command function for any of Vortex's commands. Greater than, greater than, strike, one, and they have to ping the user, or you can use their like little big bunch of numbers, at adherent. And it will autom and it'll give them that amount of strikes, automatically log it. You can delete them on your own, so if I wanted to pardon it, pardon, one, There you go. So once you get once you see that, there you go. And you can also do a kick and ban with this. And I believe I've never actually punished been punished with the vortex system before, so I don't really know. I think you get a DM saying what you did, and especially if you've gotten banned, it's good to know why you got banned. So let's say I wanted to mute someone, you can also do mute. Some of these it's going to require you to put a reason it as in, in for, like strikes and pardons, but for muting, you don't have to. And it'll automatically give them the mute roll, like so. And to finish out the video, I'm going to show you the ban command. This is the same thing that you can do with the kick command. Ban. And you can put in a reason if you want to, and hear it, and there you go. So that's a pretty basic way to do the Vortex Discord moderation bot. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them incorrectly. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.